Hey all, Hiba here. So uh, it's been a while since I've had a daring video, so don't forget to subscribe, share, like and comment on it. Um, and uh, I don't actually have the ship unlocked yet. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not because I don't want to, I really, really enjoy this destroyer. It's the most fun destroyer in the game, I think. Uh, perhaps uh, some of the Germans are just a little bit more fun, but uh, this is definitely the best destroyer in the game, that's for sure. Uh, there's really no, you know, bad point about this destroyer, other than the fact that it may be a little bit slow, but um, like, for me that's not a problem. It's actually a, uh, a plus, and uh, it's got really good uh, gun performance, really good torpedoes, it's got plenty of smokes, and it's the short kind of smokes, so you get them, like eight of them. So uh, they're primarily for just, uh, you know, breaking line of sight, which is what you want to do most of the time in a destroyer. You don't really want to be sitting in your smoke like this Hayate here. Um, so having eight smaller smokes beats by far having three or four longer lasting smokes, in, in my opinion. So the reason I haven't finished my bureau yet, which is, uh, yeah, a bit embarrassing, I must admit, uh, because like I said, this is a this is a devil of a ship. You have to have this ship. It's, like I said, it's the best destroyer, hands down. Um, but because the more recent bureaus, you actually have to do segments where they force you to play ships. And uh, I ran into one of those segments on Daring and I just haven't gotten any further. I, I can't remember what ship it is they want me to play, but it's a ship I don't want to play. And... Um, yeah, I, that, that just got me stuck. I think it's the fourth segment or something like that. So uh, if I was just able to do the research as usual, uh, I would have researched this ship here a long time ago. But because I'm stuck on that segment that, that I refuse to do, uh, I mean, the Bureau is already really, really terrible. And uh, this modification, I understand, it's probably to keep players from just researching ships outright uh, without having tech tree ships. And I know I realized I kind of asked for it myself, um, but wow, it's annoying. Uh, I hate being forced to play ships I don't want to play. So uh, that's the main reason that I don't play some of the game modes in the game. Because, uh, for example, um, arena and yada yada, whatever. Like they always force you to play ships, like a certain ship. And I don't get to play this game as much as I want. So when I play it, I want to play the ships that I like to play not ships that Wargaming for some odd reason tells me to play. And uh, yeah, that's just my opinion. And uh, so far, I haven't budged. And uh, I don't think I'm going to ever budge. So I probably won't ever get daring. <laughs> so uh, I did the video back when the CCs were given the ship for, I believe, two weeks. And uh, I played a whole lot of battles in the ship here. And I had a great time. And uh, it kind of, it kind of, you know, saddens me that I don't have it as a daily, you know, ship. Uh, but uh, I guess that's just, you know, the price you have to pay to keep some potatoes out of legendary ships. And uh, if that's what I, if that's what I got to do, then I guess I'll accept that. And perhaps I should just do those stupid missions and get this ship in my roster because as I'm watching this video here and talking, I really feel like playing <laughs> daring again. So. Uh, Let's see what happens. I could also wait until we get a Commonwealth Destroyer. For example, the Vampire 2, which uh, actually happens to be sitting right here in Sydney. Um, that would be nice because that is a daring class and it's a little bit different. So uh, it could happen or I guess it could not happen. So uh, I guess we'll see what happens uh, in the future. And I probably should just do my bureau and stop, you know, complaining. But uh, I just think it's so annoying. I have to I have to play ships I don't want to play. So uh, the reason I like Daring, other than the fact that it has great guns, great ballistics and great torpedoes and also great maneuverability, uh, it has like really nice acceleration and also very nice concealment. Um, as you can see, 5.2, that's pretty good. Oh, someone uh, wanting to, I don't know what they want. And then <laughs> see how they reset me there. That was... Uh, that's perfect play right there. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't really mean that much in this battle here. But uh, if you're in a big fat ship like that and there's a destroyer sitting that's, you know, 
I, I was sitting there for about 30 seconds, just capping. And if you can't figure out that you probably shouldn't draw fire on a destroyer like that when he's just about to cap, that's uh, a mistake. And I think he even complained about it. And I don't know, did he want to get into my smoke? Or what was the whole point of that maneuver there? But Because it looked like he got sunk right after uh, resetting me or causing me to be reset. So uh, yeah, I'd say that was that's probably one of the most ridiculous plays I've seen in a long time. And I actually didn't even notice that when I was playing the game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> good job there. It kind of reminds me of the stream a few months back where I was so lucky to get the opportunity to push Where Are You Aaron into uh, incoming shells. It wasn't on purpose, but it was uh, it was oddly satisfying. Um, I'm pretty sure this wasn't on purpose either, uh, or I don't know. But anyway, uh, I got reset and that was annoying. But on the other hand, it just uh, gives me more XP because I then have to uh, capture what I lost again. So uh, actually, when I think about it, probably a good thing. <laughs> and uh, like I said, it's not really that important in this battle here because we're going to win anyway. But uh, it would have sucked if I got sunk by some like wayward yammy shell that wasn't even meant for me. But uh, yeah, things happen. So uh, if you haven't done the Daring Bureau yet and you don't mind playing ships that, uh, you know, Wargaming dictates you to play, then you should definitely get it done because uh, this is one heck of a destroyer. I'm not much of a destroyer player. Um, I don't really play that many destroyers and the ones I do uh, play, they have a sonar. And uh, that's probably one of the reasons I like Daring because it does have a sonar. It's not as good as the Germans, but then on the other hand, you get those eight smokes and uh, the great maneuverability and, you know, just overall a really great package in this destroyer here. And uh, I guess that's just, you know, all the utility in this pack is what makes it fun. Um, so now we're just getting some resets on this Kronstadt here. And again, I'm just using the smoke, like I said in the in the earlier part of the video, just to break line of sight. Uh, that's pretty much it. It doesn't really, I don't really need it now because this Kofius here, he can't really fire at me. Uh, so I'm just going to try to get him with some torps instead. Uh, but it was meant for the the cruiser over at the B cap. It looks like the cruiser has lost interest though. And uh, the Kofius is not really keen on pushing further than uh, the island. So that means that he will never be able to cap it because I'll just keep resetting him. And uh, we also quite a bit ahead on points here. <laughs> the Reds have a grand total of 17 points. So uh, something tells me they're not going to win. And uh, with just the Kurfürst left, that was a given right there. So uh, Daring, I still don't have it. And I probably should get that Bureau done so I can actually play it. But uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and see you out there.